One of my people, Aaron Judge, Aaron Judge, Aaron Judge, the best player. Right now, he's the best player, the MVP with most home run. And MVP. I would like to hear everything about this player. So don't skip this. Don't skip this video because we're gonna talk something about interest. Something interesting about this. All right. So he's here batting practice. Well, a lot of y'all mess up. Batting practice in the field. Oh. That's discipline. All right, so he's changing his way of hitting, I mean, his way of the front foot. Um, he's still hitting balls out of the park, right? He's changing his load. His load, right? So this is the problem I got with the people th hitting BPs or hitting the hit track sometimes. Oh. Because kids, when you see the field, that don't mean that you're going just try to hit the ball out. No. Because maybe you don't have the strength to get that 60 to 40 miles ball. I don't know. BP practice, how I don't know how fast they throw it. But like sometimes it's between 30 to 40. Sometimes a little higher. If you are like less than 200 pounds and you're not big and in practice, trying to hit that ball, uh, Try to hit a, a ball coming at 30 miles out of the field, maybe it's gonna affect your mechanics. Okay? You have to focus and just keep your mechanics. And the ball, if the ball travel that far because your strength and your quickness and your power, that's another story. Okay? Obviously, obviously, I don't judge is big, but I don't mean that he can swing like this and then you can swing like that. Nah. He trying to swing the way that he can be consistent in the game. Now, home runs is just gonna happen, okay? Obviously, he gonna hit more home runs with a BP because he can keep his mechanic and the, and the power that he had, the strength, the ball is still going, okay? So, what he's doing here is with the heel up. So, normally with this drill is, it's not a drill, you can hit like that. Mm -hmm. The thing is, he's doing it as a way of, I'm just going to keep myself back here. And I'm working on my my quickness instead of, like, try to jump out and pick up too much my front foot and then strike forward and, and move forward, or right? The, the, wrong power, way. the wrong way. The wrong way. So right there, when you do when you hit heel to heel, normally you feel, like, stuck, like you cannot move. A lot of people, they hit the heel to heel is because they, like, they, they, they like to stay back. I remember Albert Pujol yes. said that a lot. He spread out, heel to heel, and he tried to just stay back. Stay back. So this drill help you to like, it's not real, but like he probably used it as a, as a feeling of, okay, I'm just going to let the ball travel. I'm going to call it just with my heel. I mean, he coiled his back leg, coiled around his back leg, but he just picked up his front heels. Front heel. You can see that front heel up, and then when the ball getting close, that that front heel go down and back leg explode. Okay? But you have to make sure, look at that heel. That heel start coming down after he released the ball. Way after, right? So he's here, pick up the heel. The pitcher is right here with the with the with the ball on top. So he got the coil. That's why you're going to load normally when you pick up your front foot. And then after that, he released. He still got the heel up. So the ball is in the air already. He still keep the heel up. And then the ball is starting getting closer. And then everything goes. The it's heel goes down when the ball gets <clears throat> close. So he make himself to be quick instead of like heel down and try to like muscle that ball okay and quickness is equal power okay look at the look at the back leg turn look at that shoulder tilt and let's just look at the barrel look at the barrel Ooh. the barrel working back behind <coughs> the ball the knob 
in this situation is going up so the barrel gate behind okay this guy know his mechanic bro then after a few he's keep doing that a few times with the heel up then after a few maybe next round he start picking up his front foot right to get that uh real uh coy that he do in the games okay now but you don't see him trying to jump and hit the ball out of the field the, like the hardest he can. No. no. The power is here. It's here. Right there. He coil and when he moves forward, he don't jump. He don't try to muscle up. He just kind of landing with the right movement forward, keeping that chest in the back leg, keeping the chest in the back leg. And from there, he don't keep moving. He just... Land and go. Look at the head. It's like no movement with the head. Okay? So he let it trouble and then be quick in the back leg. Now, huh? this is the thing. You probably say like, dude, well, when I do that, I feel like I can hit no home runs. Well, maybe you're not strong enough yet. But you had to think, okay, if I want to play in the higher level, I want to be quick to the ball. I want to have time to let the ball travel, okay? So I can make good decisions because the only difference is the speed of the game. The game get faster and faster older you get. And obviously, I see plenty of kids hitting home runs, jumping up front when they're like 12, ah, yeah, whatever, because the ball is not moving fast enough for you to have struggles. But that's why a lot of those players, they never make it. They just make it to Juco, maybe it's a D1 sometimes. And that's a good thing. But this is the difference. This is a lead MVP hitter. He know how to work. He know how to stay back. He know that if he got more time to the, let the ball travel, he going to have better decisions. And he know he's quick, he's going to have power. But for that reason, he working the right way on practice. So do the right things on practice. Don't try to over muscle anything. If you don't hit the ball out in the BP because you're you're weaker than Adam Josh, you are you're like less. You still not have the strength. Don't try to boost your ego by hitting bumps in the practice. Just boost your mechanic. Boost your ego with your mechanic. Say like, do oh, I stay quick? Oh my gosh, and be smart. Think about when you quick on the back and you maybe don't hit a home run in the, in the practice, but think about, well, is that ball come uh, 20 miles harder and you do that clean swing, it's going to end up a bomb in the game or maybe a double, yep. maybe a triple, or maybe just a single. But I'm going to have, out of fire bats, I'm probably going to barrel more than the one that's jumping in front and try to just hit the crap out of the ball in practice. Okay. Now, if you hit the ball out of the out of the field, the same way as Adam just do, staying back, turning behind it, be quick, let it get deep. But good job. Yep. You probably got enough strength to get balls out of the field. Now, if you in a tryout and you want to show out, and you, <laughs> some coaches they don't know. Some coaches they don't know how to. Uh, even scouts they don't know how to. Uh, different that. No. You know, like. Ah, this kid hit the ball 400 feet. It got potential. They don't know. But then in the game, they strike out, right? So some kids, they have the swing for tryouts, and some kids have the swing for practice. If you know that, you can play that. It's, it's almost like a hack. It's almost like a like a trick. Ah, this is my swing for BP, so I can show to the scout. <laughs> but then in the, in the game, you make sure you stay back. Or after the, that tryout, make sure you go to the cage and work on your mechanic, because you probably... Messing up your mechanics by jumping forward in, in, in practice, okay? <laughs> People, I hope you like this. This is a process that he take right there. That's a good process. The first few, don't pick up your front foot too high. Keep Just coil. Hit, keep your coil. Just work on staying in the back. Then after you get comfortable, start picking up. And then stay back, not jumping. He don't pulling balls out of here. Pulling balls to third base. And he pull it because he was early. No, not like a, he trying to pull balls, right? 
He just tried to be quick and behind it. He, he drive a lot of balls to right center. Just to don't open too early. The, the thing is, when you when you try to hit balls to right center, it's not because you're moving forward and trying to push the ball that way. You have to let it travel more and be quick back there, turn you back like that way, and then you will have that, okay? So hopefully you like this video. Keep working hard. Be smart. Keep working, my people. Thank you for subscribing. Keep subscribing. Keep commenting. Keep liking the videos. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video. Yeah. Yeah.